How is it going, Hellraisers? My name is Matt, and welcome back to Bull Group Gaming. As you can see, we are... Oh, shit. We are directly where we left off last time, and I'm wearing the same shirt, and I have the same acne on my forehead, which means I'm recording this directly after I recorded the first episode. Why? Because I'm really excited about this game. <laughs> Will I play through this entire game this weekend? Maybe. It remains to be seen. Depends on... Uh, really depends on if uh, Call of Duty decides to bring back uh, shipment and... Shoot house, the shipment of shoot house playlist because it's really pissing me off that that's not there right now. But that is a different game. Playing with cheat codes does not disable progress, allows you to complete all aspects of the mission. However, slayer gates are disabled when using cheat codes. Okay, well, like I said, for this playthrough, I'm not gonna use cheat codes anyway, but that is a very interesting I do element not have of this the game. Means to locate the second hell priest, your celestial locator is missing a component. Darn. We will need a replacement. I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Very nice. Master levels. Oh, oh my god, we got a whole thing here, boy. Also, if I might ask, where the fuck did this ship come from? Are we gonna get some backstory? Oh, is this a pool? I can't get in. Damn it! Come on, man. That's. Yeah, I'm hoping we get a little bit of backstory here. First of all, what happened to all my weapons that I had at the end? Maybe uh, that dude took them. Uh, I forget his name. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, I'm curious as to where the hell this ship came from. But that's okay. I guess we can uh, figure that out later, can't we? For now, we have more important things to deal with. Like a flame belch. I like flamethrowers. Come on, gimme. Set enemies on fire and they will drop armor shards. Kill them and they'll drop the most armor. Flame belch demons. Oh, <laughs> flame belch demons in groups to maximize the number of shards dropped. Flame belch gradually recharges over time. Very cool. Okay. So it just kind of pops. If I hold it. Okay. So it only goes in little bursts. Hopefully we can upgrade that to make it like a full scale fucking flamethrower. Obtain a sentinel crystal. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how you up. This is an arc thing. broadcast. There are we hold that thought. Oh, am I about to get this read to us? Awesome. It's coming out of the quarantined hellified zone near the San Andreas chasm. Satellite imagery show what ARC personnel believe to be the legendary Doomslayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. The Doomslayer, or Doom Guy, as he is sometimes referred to, was thought to be a myth of the Resistance, a sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Mars, and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. Represent. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continues to deny all reports of his existence. We will continue to broadcast new information as we receive it. Very cool. Is that going to be the this same one if I play arc it? Broadcast. Okay, yeah. There are We've also got master levels. What the hell is up with this? Nothing right now. Great. Alright, anyway. Whoops. Sentinel Crystal Tutorial. This is the Sentinel Crystal section, blah, 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 blah. Use a Sentinel Crystal to permanently upgrade your health, armor, or ammo capacities. That is great. I need that very badly. Um, you can select an upgrade to increase four upgrades for each category. Alright, when selecting an upgrade, this section shows your currently upgraded capacities. Um, unlocking two linked upgrades gives you a bonus upgrade. Consider the bonus upgrade when selecting your Sentinel Crystal upgrades. Highlight the upgrades you want, then confirm your selection. All right. How do I see which one is the, like, special upgrade? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I guess it's the one in the middle. That makes sense. Um, I need to go for ammo right now. Yeah, because I'm running out of ammo way too much. All right, it seems a little extreme, but whatever. Uh, immediately applied, along with any unlocking bonuses. Search the environment to locate more sentinel crystals and improve your capabilities. And ready when you are. I'm 
I think I'm ready at least. Is there any way... So like, there's some, there's more to this ship, right? Oh yeah. There's gotta be good shit. I can't wait to unlock more sections. I hope there's gonna be like some just generic training area where I can just try out different shit. That would be fun. But for now, let's get back to Earth and start banging those hell demons. Or, you know, something like that. We're gonna do something with them, that's for sure. But once I run out of ammo, who knows what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Doomslayer gets lonely up in my uh, gets lonely up in my spaceship, okay? Don't fucking judge me. Anyway. To put an end to the demonic consumption of Earth, Hell Priest must be eliminated. Following the death of that guy, the remaining two Hell Priests have gone missing. You must return to Exaltia, Forsaken City of Sentinel Pass, to acquire the device necessary to locate the remaining priests and save Earth. Wow, okay. So we're going to Sentinel territory. Very epic. What is that in the upper right, I wonder? Very cool. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's quite the monument. It's pretty baller. Well, I fucked up. Oh, no, I didn't. All right, good. So, oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Huh. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. I thought he wasn't going to grab it. Ooh, is that a Patronus? Please protect me. Oh. You aren't supposed to be here. This is a holy land, damn it. You guys got some fucking problems? Hup. Hup. Yeehaw. That information for Exultia. Translation from the Ligra Soltagenta. I should probably just not accent anything. Book of Kings. What treachery comes from our darkest selves, driven by greed and want? For I have been deceived by the dig. They came north with I, the priests, as allies to our cause against the con maker and her unscrupulous methods. Their silvery tongues wagged, or wagging. They laid a plan for us and sowed the seed of desire for hasty triumph. They claimed knowledge of the maker's source of power in the demon realm. A vast foundry of souls where the innocent are put to the fire for the essence. In the foundry's destruction, our victory is assured, they told us. And the fools that we were, that I am, believed their lies. On their word, we sent the Doomslayer and the Night Sentinels to destroy the foundry. And the priests cast a gate for their egress. As the last veteran entered the demon's empire, our final hope of reclaiming our dominion, the day closed the path and left them stranded. They were trapped lost in the eternal void by the actions of the traitors. How could I not see their intention? Am I blinded by grief for the loss of Tarasnabad, of my people? We have fled again, with barely a legion of the night sentinels left to protect us. The Dag are gone, return to their mistress. May the wraiths forgive my failure. Damn. Okay, so it sounds like there were some night sentinels left, and Doomslayer and some other ones were tricked. I mean, you... you read the thing with me so you probably get it I'm just talking for the sake of talking all right a lot of penises here probably should have uh, given these structures some texture but then again I'm not entirely sure oh damn gargoyle like their imp brethren the gargoyle is an agile relentless pack hunter native to the sentinel world this beast has plagued the sentinel guard for centuries as one of the few demon breeds that could bypass the walled defenses of Sentinel Prime, the gargoyle could appear without warning and claim hapless townspeople before disappearing into the wasteland. Only the most skilled marksmen of the Night Sentinels could intercept this aerial threat, a peril which demanded an ever-vigilant watch over the city's perimeter. Whoa, chill with that shit, sir. That's nice fucking head. On, open up, open up, big boy. Open up. There we go. I like that. Nice fucking head, you loser. Alright. Whoop. 
Oh my god, you're still alive? Jesus, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> that is by far my favorite animation so far. Oh, Jesus, bro, come on. Oh, you, you want something, huh? Yeah, how you fucking like that shit? That's what I got for you. Introduce a new enemy to this ass, boy. The Hell Knight, warrior beast among demons, has earned its place over the millennia in service of the eternal arc demons. As imposed by the Sovereign Houses, Hell Knights have long served as barbaric enforcers of the Netherworld, impelling lesser demons by a way of brutality. Rare among demonkind for its innate regard for primal orders of hierarchy, the Hell Knight exhibits adherence to the prevailing rule of its demon lord masters. Requiring little compulsion on behalf of its highborn masters, Hell Knights readily serve the elder Hell Gods for the extent of their lifespans, reaping great satisfaction in the way of war and desecration. Interesting. Oh, he disappeared. I was going to, like, teabag him or something. Desecrate that bitch. The Patronus. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Thanos. He's around here somewhere, isn't he? Wouldn't that be a great matchup? Fucking Doomslayer versus Thanos. What is this? My goodness. Blood Punch. Very nice. Blood Punch is a melee attack that deals extra damage. Glory Killing fills, fills the Blood Punch meter. Once charged, press B to unleash it. Hmm. Okay. Um. So, oh, so is this? I'm so confused. Very cool. I like that a lot. So now do my punches do damage? That would be really nice considering um, I'm still very shy on ammo. Oh shit. <laughs> it's short work of that. Oh, you got something for me down there? Ouch. Hey, if you could not zap my titties, please. Ooh. I love it. I love it. Um, very cool. I like the blood punch. I like that a lot. Runes. Runes enhance your abilities or enable new abilities. You have limited rune slots, so choose the runes that fit your playstyle. Okay. So this is a thing from the first game. Oh, wait. Do I not have to complete a challenge for it? Let me read all these real quick. Actually, I'll read them through. We'll do this together. Perform glory kills faster. That's a nice one. Launch into a glory kill from much farther away. Also very nice. Gain a speed boost. Survive one death blow and briefly slow down time, giving you a chance to recover. This rune recharges on death. So... It only works once, and then you have to die? I don't know about that one. Increases how long enemies remain in stagger. Greatly increase movement control while in air. Hold LT and mid or temporarily slow down time. Once the rune is fully drained, you'll need to wait for it to recharge. <laughs> Enemies killed by equipment or while under the influence of equipment will decrease the recharge time. Enemies killed by blood punch, shockwave, drop health. Okay. Um, I want to do this one because there have been a few glory kills that have been out of reach, and I love performing glory kills. So, uh, but next time I'll probably get one of the movement ones. This rune tab you can equip. Okay. Select the rune to equip. All right. There we go. Finding more ruins will blah, blah, blah. Fit play style. Nice. I like it. Have I missed anything so far? Probably. There's a secret beneath me. So I'm going to go grab that. Um. Whoa, sir. Oh, my man. what I think of that. Who's popping off? Wait, hold on. Where is that thing? Oh, right next to me. Perfect. I like it. Hey! Oh, toy. That's cute. Alright, shoddy boy. No, I don't have enough ammo for it.
I wanted to come down on his ass. Whoa, daddy. Dude, fuck off. Damn. That's what I think of your ass. These are damn rockets. I'm not sure of their functionality. Like, what's the point, man? Then again, I guess not much in this game needs to have a point. It just needs to be fucking cool. Oh, hello. Whoa, that launched me a lot farther than I thought it would. That. Huh? Ah, oh, damn. All right. Eyeball. Oh, fuck. All right, that's slightly problematic, not gonna lie. Um, oh, there we go. So to answer my question, no, my uh, punches do no additional damage. I'm gonna have a blood punch, which is pretty sad. Weapon point, eh? Complete all the encounters in the mission to earn weapon points. The demonic corruption meter tracks the points you've earned. Each mission has 10 weapon points total. Spend weapon points in the arsenal tab to upgrade your weapon mods. Ooh, okay. Um, you can upgrade your things, customize, and apply custom skins. Mm. To upgrade a weapon mod, navigate to that weapon and select it and see the available upgrades. Okay. Um, I seem to be using sticky bombs a lot. Uh, oh, explosion size. I like that. And so that one you can unlock. Oh, okay, cool. So I have six right now. All right, I'm going to increase the uh, explosion size first. Damn, there are multiple demons at once. Sticking a weak point, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. I love it. Purchase all weapon upgrades to unlock access to Weapon Mastery Challenge. This gameplay challenge can be completed to unlock the weapon's full power. Learn more about each weapon mastery on the Arsenal tab. All right, cool. Something in here, anything interesting? All right, anywho. I had to burn it for the moment. Blood fuck. Alright, so clearly I'm supposed to go a certain way. And clearly I don't want to go that way. So, ooh, we got something behind us too. A rune. Alright, it's so on the other side of that. Um, I don't know if I can make that jump. All right, bad idea. Well, there we go. Cool. Oh, that didn't even take a life from me. Very nice. So sadly, uh, I don't think I can make it over there right now. But maybe I'll come back later. Then we can try it. Okay. Okay. Uh. The wolf. Oh, good. 
Argenta legends speak of sentinel beasts, loyal creatures that lived as companions of the hardened warriors. Often larger, swifter, and stronger than others of their kind, these animals shared instincts with their masters and aided them in battle. The night sentinels never shared publicly the origin of these creatures, for only they stood worthy of them. Well, shit. All right, then. See how it is. So, uh, where's mine? Or is that mine? And can he, uh, actually help me? That'd be very cool. Hey, bud. How's it going? This seems like a dangerous contraption to just have lying around, but alright, I'll play ball. I like armor. It's pretty dope, not gonna lie. What the hell is that? Oh, that's where I just was. Alright, anyway. The question is, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Because I don't want to go the way I'm supposed to go. History of the Sentinels, Part 1, translation from Ligra Soltigenta. In the days before man first spoke, an immense shard of rock and metal was cast into the world from the heavens. Thunder and cataclysm shook the land as the skies were torn asunder. The cosmic spear cleft a hole through our mortal lands, pole to pole, from the cold wastes of the umbral plains to the fetid swamps of Iron Fang. The womb of the world opened and the elemental wraiths, the firstborn, spilled forth. They took to the skies, fierce in their emancipation. In their exultation, they brought vitality to the land, and all that felt their breath were awakened from eternal slumber. Fierce beasts and an unforgiving biosphere rose in the passing of their shadow as the wraith call echoed across Argent Denor. First came the ancestrals, feral creatures invigorated by the magic of the wraiths. They grew to enormous heights, mighty behemoths who waged war with each other for years untold. Their battles tore the land asunder and destroyed all creation caught in their wake. The Wraith Call continued to spread from across the land, and soon the Argenta emerged from the steppes, our souls stirred to form by the power of their breath. The Titans towered over the wild-blooded tribes, but found them uncowed. The secret of the sword was discovered, and in the darkness of sweltering mountain forges, we beat steel until it was strong enough to pierce bone and sever flesh. Thus we came to be, born out of rock and fire, Lowly in birth, but risen by the strength of our will. By the blessedness of the first ones, we forged sword and shield and took the hammer to the ancestrals. We claimed dominion of creation by right of blood and magic. And the time of man came to be. With the ancestral beasts driven back to their bleak valleys, we rose. We tilled the fertile land, husbanded beasts of burden, and built towering cities. In the hallowed palace on the obsidian throne, we crowned King Ormera the father the first of the line that shall reign in perpetuity. We built the Cathedral of Reflection to worship the First Ones and formed the Order of the Dig, whose priests pay tribute to the wraiths and appease their temp tempestuous hunger. Our sons and daughters chose the path of the sword or the path of the alchemist, for each, day, for each duty honors the gods. Though our ways were righteous, we were not without strife. Storms and great... Okay. Storms and great quakes cast, out, cast our spires down. Barbaric tribes laid siege to our fields in search of the great gifts Mother Argenta had bestowed upon our world, and the song of the Wraith Call threatened to dive lesser men into madness. We were not lesser men. We defended that which the First One gifted to us, our lands and right to the bounty held within. We beat back the barbarian hordes and hardened our resolve. We rose above the fire, our bodies and souls tempered, and an unbreakable will was shaped in the forge of battle. What emerged was the heart of our legion, the Order of the Night Sentinels. Wow. Oh, shit. He wasn't kidding about a fucking spear from the heavens. My God. All right. Whoa. I hope I wasn't supposed to ride one of those. Oh, is this... No, no. Dash. Oh, there we go. Um. Yeah. Okay. So dash. Very cool. Wolfie. 
Can I get like a super jump? Uh, oh boy. Ooh. Hup. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it was right down. Uh huh. Yeah, that way. Ooh. Secret? What's secret? Okay. Hup. Uh. There we go. All I did was get a life. Uh, okay. I hear someone stepping over there. Maybe. Ooh. Blue. I would like some sentinel armor. That'd be pretty dope, not gonna lie. I mean, I think I kind of have it, but you know. Different. God damn, games that are stacked. Looks like I'm taking it anywhere. You cannot kill the priests. You know our laws. Despite their transgressions against the Covenant, they are still of sentinel blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. It is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the Heaven's Wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. Damn, Doom Guy's got some sass. He don't want to hear shit from you, Oldie Locks. Ooh, more reading, yay. I hope you all enjoy exposition as much as I do. Because I really love reading like date or uh, you know info entries in games. So I'm sorry if this is annoying, but King Novik ruled over Sentinel Prime for many years as its warrior patriarch, ordained protector of the sovereign Sentinel worlds. The Sentinel people, defined by a legacy of war, deem only those of warrior caste befit to rule. And in times of battle, it is expected that the king lead from the battlefield rather than from the safety of the throne. As it is written in Sentinel Law, a king unfit for battle is likewise unfit to rule. For millennia, the Sentinel people have secured their civilization against the threat of invasion from beast and human alike, passing on the mantle of battle to each subsequent generation and refining the craft of war into an art of ultimate mastery. Even in times of peace, the Night Sentinels remain vigilant, developing new technologies of conquest, each the more capable of securing their dominion across the sovereign worlds. So they're always ready to go. And they did not want humans around. You know, this makes me think. I saw, like, a preview at one point that was, uh, like, basically, it was like the Doom Slayer. Slayer, like, there's this boss that you're supposed to fight. That's, uh, am I going to be able to make it across here? Oh, can I dash? Oh, that's how I do that thing a while back. Can I fast travel right now? Hold on. No, I don't think I can. Maybe I can, but I just didn't read the entry for that. So, I don't know what the hell's going on. That looks like not good to step in. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. That door shut on me. Come here, big boy. Come here. Ah, oh, well, shit. You don't fuck off there. It. Ah, there we go. Give me that ass, son. Whoop. God damn. 
Out of electricity, don't fuck around. I'd like to get up there, please. Thank you. Damn, what does this thing take forever to fucking recharge? Shit, it really does. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Thanks, bud. Ooh, God, that was nasty. Oof. All right. If this... <laughs> if every level has 10 weapon points and I'm only on two, that either means I've missed a lot or... These are some long ass levels. Uh, oh wow, okay, I only gained one weapon point. What the fuck? Oh well shit, I've been going backwards. Fuck, okay, my bad. Sentinel battery can be used to provide additional power to your ship. Several Very modules cool. remain unused. Finding more batteries will enable you to utilize the full functions of your command station. Where did this command station come from, Vega? I'm so confused. Why are you giving me all this ammo for? Ooh, what is this? Plasma rifle? Hell yeah, don't mind if I do. Uh, here we go. Plasma rifle. Designed by the UAC's military tech division, the plasma rifle is a standard in energy-based weaponry. Firing a superheated plasma in rapid short burst intervals, the plasma rifle is capable of overloading energy-based shielding and liquefying enemy combatants. Very cool. Nice hold that. Ah, I see how it is. Um, its shoulder cannons are the weak points, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Revenant. The Revenant program, a bioweapon experiment using reanimated ne necrotic human tissue, was believed to have been destroyed with the collapse of the UAC facility on Mars. However, the emergence of the cultist enclaves on Earth, former UAC deviations now under Hell's direct control, have begun work on a second wave of production of the Revenant program. While much of the platform's existing weapon payload is preserved as originally designed, the cyber neural programming has undergone modification. Pattern signals were wired to the host's frontal cortex, which, which in turn simulate a state of frenzied, unrestrained bloodlust. While these signals are active, the host is incapable of thinking or feeling anything but a singular compulsion to inflict death and violence on the living. Wow. That's a lot, my boy, not gonna lie. Missiles? Jesus. Ooh. Damn. It never ceases to amaze me, the brutality of this shit sometimes. Oh, I thought that was the first one. Damn, it just needs to get low on health in this. Did he pull out a sword or something? I don't think he did, but it looked like it, man. Or was that thing spitting fire? Right. Got a secret? I want it. Oh, daddy. Now, this game's packing heavy, boy. Can I squeeze through here? No. My pecs, they're just too big. What can I say? Wow, that is a fucking gauntlet. Give me that shit. I don't want this tiny stuff anymore, bro. Um, all right, I see how to get down there. Seems like one of those caves that you don't want to go down, but you're going to go down it anyway. This just seems like not the place to be. Oh! So that's how it is, huh? That's how it's gonna be? Come on, motherfucker, I got you. 
little bitch. Damn it! Whoa! Oh, I can't jump. I was wondering what this purple shit how it was affecting me. Hmm, I need something that packs a little more punch because I gotta get them before they hit me. God damn it. It scares me every time. I like how it's like, yeah, there's a fucking, uh... <laughs> there's these tentacles. You little bastard, I swear to God. There are these tentacles that are like lying around the world and they'll fuck you up, but they're in these holes. And then in here, they block the holes from you seeing them. Like, damn it, bro, and I can't even jump. Give me this, I earned it. Well, I don't even remember what that does. Oh, it's an auto map, fuck. Um. All right, cool. <laughs> God damn. Okay, um. What does this do? That actually might come in more handy right now, the precision bolt, because I need to get rid of some of those, especially those spider, whatever the hell they're called. Um, I need to snipe those weak points, so I'm gonna unlock that before I unlock something for the plasma right now. We still good, we still recording. All right, thank God. I I fucked it up for a second. There is a sentinel power Jesus Christ, nearby. Me. You can use it to activate the mech and clear a path forward. Activate the mech, you say? Nice! I didn't think I'd actually be able to do that. <laughs> Activate the mech. Oh, that's cool. Alright, but I have a thing I gotta do first, right? Yeah! Oof. Ooh! Oh, I thought he was like fully bent in half as <laughs> made his fate any different I don't know what compromising position or something. secret at doom's gate an album what the fuck you guys listen to music in hell I really want one of these mech suits that giant That giant I was telling you guys about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up the look up the trailer. You can see his ass walking around. That I'm sure you have to fight. I really hope you get a giant Praetor like mech suit to fight that prick with. That would be so fucking cool. Where are we going from here? Um, do I have to make it to that? What the hell? There was a button over there. I'm not gonna try to fuck with it right now, but. Uh, excuse me, sir. History of the Sentinels part two. All right, this one seems a little bit shorter, so that's good. In the time of grief, when King Etrix took the throne, a blessing came to the people of Argenta. White porcelain beings from a world above our own brought gifts to Denor. Observers to our great deeds, admirers of our convictions, they sought to make bond with our swords and bring lasting order to our world. These were beings unlike any we had seen before. Sword and shield held no weight against them, for the ethereal flesh of these luminous beings seemed unbound by mortality. Able to move through time and space, they held sway over all dominions of the known and unknown dimensions. Through their ways we grew stronger, our society bolstered by their infinite wisdom and all-knowing power, assuring our people's safety for all time in this world and the next. <clears throat> Where we sharpened the blade and mastered our magic, they bolstered the soul and spirit. Death would no longer be the end for our people. The ones we call the makers, our new allies in this brutal world, have given us the security and death we fought so hard to achieve in life. We would find eternal peace, and our minds would rest easy with the knowledge that those we fought alongside in battle would join us in the lands beyond the mortal plane. The strength of our ways, the purity of our essence, would by maker law grant us passage to the great city in the clouds. There, our women and children, warriors and kin alike would welcome us. We adopted the holy doctrines of the makers, gifted in exchange with the chance to earn eternal rest for our immortal souls in blessed Erdok. 
The covenant we held now under the embrace of our new gods fostered a peace we had never known. For they were unlike the first ones, whose presence offered no paradise from fear and the uncertainty of existence in a harsh and unforgiving world. The Maker's embrace was warm and guided us into an era of spiritual prosperity. Well, there you go. Oh, sorry, forgot about you, but I'm going to leave you hanging. Um, damn, I forget there's a thing that I actually, like, charge up and have to use now. Want a little piece? Where's my objective? Whoa! Alright, that went from... Uh... Uh... Something I should like, be aware of or <laughs> What the fuck's going on? Alright, um, I'm not really sure what the point is. Ah, here we go. That is a strange looking orb. Not sure what the purpose of that was. I know I saw one of those earlier. I think I ignored it though, because I thought it was like a power up or something. How about that shit? Anyway. Destroyed its turret to single. Okay, I'll just stop trying to speak, I guess. Where you at, homie? Alright, that was just stupid, wasn't it? Where's that spider prick? There he is. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, someone's shooting at me. I'll snipe you before I get down there, bro. Don't fuck with me. That is some dope ass armor, my friend. Ouch. Damn, alright then. Fuck. through the depths of hell, I guess. Dash refill. Ooh. All right, I see how it is. Nice. Okay. Battery, awesome. Very happy about it. Um, why the fuck am I here again? Oh shit. Secrets? Secrets? I don't think so. Alright, secrets now. Very nice. Can I stand on it, please? Thank you. Alright, we're going in deep, eh? 
Oh, no, we're not. Oh, wait, yeah, we are. Good. Very nice. Should I step on that? I feel like that's not what it's supposed to happen, but all right. Very cool. I like that a lot. Um, secrets? Maybe. Maybe later. Oof. Imagine how that smells. Oh, boy. Back to this, huh? Can I just go back? Is it too late? I think it's too late. All right, damn it. Aha! All right then, bitch. So is it, it's where those splashes are. Yeah, now I fucking got your ass. Yeah. Probably should have figured that out a long time ago, but. feature of the land. Oh, I forgot. I couldn't mm. jump. Oh, fuck. Alright, I have completely forgot the game that I'm playing. Excuse me, please. Oh, my goodness. dead. Aha. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Cool. Oh my god. Good, I'm out of ammo. Oh my God. Yep. That. That's what I thought. I've got to hit them from a different angle. Thank you for opening wide. I'm your dentist. I'll just be taking a look around in here. It seems that you've got quite uh, the cavity. I get that filled. There we go. Close, thank you. Yes, very shiny. We've picked up a few before, Doom Guy. Let's go. We're on a time schedule, my boy. Got an earth to save. Huh, huh. Oop. Okay. And stick it, turn it, good. Launch it. Launch it. Disgusting. Oof, wow, well, I gotta perform some acrobatics, huh? Whew. Alrighty then. I don't like these areas. They stress me out, man. I mean, is there. Switching back to my shot, it seems to be able to make the quickest work of these pricks. I knew it! Aha! Uh -huh. I was ready for you, you little. Frick ass. Alright. Demons drop armor at a faster rate. Eh, I mean, I still need more ammo. Um, let's pull them much farther away. I guess that's a that's a good one. 
Um, so I'm going to unlock ammo, and then next time I'll unlock the other part of the loot magnet thing. And that way, I can magnetize shit more gooder. I was about to say, damn, Doom Guy, you trying to fly or some shit? Alright, well, glad we saw that. Okay, sir, that's just not cool. I need you to stop. Alright, good. Anyway, so now that he's chilled the hell out. So are all of these platforms gonna fall? Is that what it was trying to tell me? Is that a fucking hell knight? <laughs> oh no, it wasn't. Damn. Anyway. Alright, good. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, any reason to go down here? Uh, I guess not. I'm not really sure what that purple stuff is still, but it's probably important, I guess. What you got for me? More history lessons. Great, I love going to school. With machine and enhancement of the makers... <laughs> The Argenta brought our newfound clarity to the disparate realms of the Empyrean Void. We took flight with the support of our gods, spreading the enlightened word of the Khan Maker. We discovered there was not one enemy, but many. Worlds and peoples unknown to the Argenta were unveiled, and we saw our own suffering reflected in their eyes. Our righteous army strode into battle under the banner of the Night Sentinels and fought for the freedom of all peoples from the grasp of those who would exploit and prey upon them. Though we battled on soil not our own, the blood we shed in foreign lands safeguarded Argentinor, and the sons and daughters that defended it. Through the strange peoples we liberated, new alliances were formed, and our beliefs became their own. Our army swelled. As the Argenta traversed the stars with gleaming war fleets, the Khan of the Makers approached King Rowan on his throne. He sensed his god restless by her disquiet manner. The king and the Khan spoke, and the god revealed she had foreseen a schism in the blood of the Argenta. A test would be required to identify its host among us. She spoke of a holy rite to be performed on the strongest of our warriors. Only those that proved worthy would be tested, for the impurity could reside in only the most resilient of our legion. The divinity machine, a great tribute by maker Scolaris, would help us to cleanse any impurities from our flock, ensuring our continued prosperity in this world and in the maker realm that awaited in the afterlife. The malicious one, if not exhumed from our ranks, would jeopardize our safe passage to the heavenly realm of Erdok. The dark one was not amongst them yet, nor would he be for many generations. Only the mother god, through divination and maker sight, would determine when he stood before them. The makers were truth, and only their unclouded eyes could find the one who was marked. The prophecy of the unholy one was written, but through the ages the warning grew faint till only the conmaker herself and the high priests of the Order Dag still whispered of he that would one day come to threaten their way of light. Ooh, okay. Is that me by any chance? Mm. I see how it is. Owie. First try, suck it. Open your fucking mouth. Open it. Yeah, you too. Oh, damn it. Oh, mama. Whoa. Chill, son. God damn. Spicy over there. You're trying to take a chunk out of big boy? I got too much biceps for you. You step the hell off. Anything interesting over here? Just ribs. Ooh. Mind if I do. I need that, thanks. Ask 
what I think, my boy. Ooh, a special thing. Oh. Very cool. Slayer key. The Slayer key will unlock a nearby Slayer gate. Completing all six Slayer gates unlocks access to the Unmaker in the Fortress of Doom. Wowie! What the hell does any of that mean? <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. All right, let's go. Slayer gates. Slayer gates are optional, intense encounters. Oh shit! Ammo and extra lives spent in Slayer gate will not be restored afterwards. Well, that blows. Completion awards three weapon points and an Empyrean key. Each Slayer Gate is unlocked with a Slayer key, which is near the gate. Fuck it. Let's do it. Double Deluxe. Oh my god. Put that shit on the key ring, huh? Oh, this is a throwback, eh? So it's about to lock me in here. Well, I wish I had more ammo, but I'll keep that on backup. All right, let's go. What do I gotta do? Touch it? Just like the first game. Alright, slightly different. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh fuck me. Yeah, I just wanna miss everything, thanks. Alright, not too bad so far. Hopefully I'm not going to have to eat what I just said in a second. I maintain that goddamn things are so red whenever you take any damage. I'm constantly thinking I'm on the verge of death. Get your ass down from there. If I can't fly, neither can you. You got fuel, thanks. Oh, I already have fuel? Alright, come in. Yes siree. else oh Jesus whoa sir whoa holy crap all right all right he wasn't so bad fuck him I cannot wait until I get one of those like go fast oh shit hold on hold on What's up, friend? Alright, so, yeah, the shotgun really ain't doing it for me. But I think that's all I have right now, isn't it? God damn it, man. Fuck off. Okay, just go through the floor, why don't you? Whoa! Very cool. Whoopsie, whoopsie, excuse me, sir. I you just step off these nuts. I'm not Mr. Planter, you can't just fucking eat them whenever you want. You gotta ask permission first. I mean, I guess I kind of gave permission. I know this is like, oh shit. Hell yeah, boy! I hope you all enjoyed my top tier commentary. What does this thing do? Empyrean Key. Acquire all six Empyrean Keys to activate the Maker device in the Fortress of Doom, which unlocks the Unmaker. Ooh, that looks like a big sword thing. Very cool, very cool, I like that. All right, Jesus Christ, going on an hour and 10 minutes. These were, <laughs> I was thinking like they'd be like 40 minute long episodes or something. I didn't think they would be this involved, but I guess I forgot how the first game was, so. Oh, okay, that, um. 
Whoopsie, I probably should have checked that. Have any secrets back there? New. No. I forget how, like, much power he has when he jumps off of this fucking wall. Ooh, that was close, my boy. The betrayer's life signal is nearby. The betrayer, you say? Son of a bitch. Um, got some progress? Question mark. I like exploring. That's probably why these fucking episodes are so damn long. Hup, 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 hup. Ooh. Yeah. What do we got? Yeah, another toy. I hope I put these on the uh, like on my dashboard on my ship, kind of like who was it? Mary Poppins from fucking. Guardians of the Galaxy. That'd be funny. Yeah, okay, anyway. How do I get up there? How far is up there? Oh, I should probably just play the fucking level on that. Sensors and artillery everywhere. I mean, some uh, James Bond shit, eh? I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Big ball says otherwise. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance. Just as it was mine. Holy shit, bro, your face is messed up. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest. Then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. What'd you give me, my boy, huh? More toys? More toys? Are you gonna treat me right? Got any secrets in here, my boy? See you later, I suppose. Alright. Huh. What do we got? More lava? Hmm. Isn't there supposed to be a layer of hell that's like f completely frozen? I'm gonna go to that. Fucking cool off for a bit. I'll get my nice fur coat. It'll be a good time. Um, well, damn it. I done fucked up, my friends. I'm sorry. All right, where am I going from there? And is there secrets? All right, there's not even land beneath me, so that is good to know about. Well, anyway, here we go. The extraction point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. I'm not really sure who, like, the total overlord of hell is, if it's, like, Satan in the Doom universe or if it's supposed to be someone else. But you got to wonder what they were thinking when they kind of, like, developed like that. Um, it's a pretty odd detail to put in, but I guess when you kind of have, you know, eternity to think of stuff, you start coming up with really weird shit. Anyway, I'm not trying to judge. Like, good for you, I guess. Decorate the interior, but I'm just saying. I feel like 
if I jump down there, that's gonna kill me. I don't really see a way of getting back up. Unless I do. Can I go around? Nah, I don't really want to find that. There's only one extra life, and then they don't even really do all that much for me. So. Anywho. Oh. Oh. Go on this one. You know what? Fuck it. I'll write it down. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Damn, you can't just, <laughs> you can't just do that to me while I'm in the middle of something. All right, so you touch those things, it's uh, it's reset time, I guess. I'm gonna map out where the hell I was supposed to go. Whatever. Oh my god, if that would have reset me, I would have been so pissed. Guys, I I just got here. Okay, can you give me just a second to fucking orient myself, damn it? No, step off on me. No target, huh? That doesn't do it for you, that fucking thing right there. Well, I didn't need to hit that, but I guess we're getting ammo. Is this that thing? Well, yeah, what what does that do? Media special abilities, killing onslaught increases damage, seven to speed, instantly rip and tear any demon. Damn, that is a shame. I wish I would have gotten the other one. But it's okay. This is the increased damage. Last game it was four times damage output. Whoa! Oh my god, these fucking spiders are a pain in my ass, bro. I'll show you what I think of you, motherfucker. Yeah, that's not the place to be. Damn, you run through ammo quick in this game. Damn, I'm. That's the one thing I missed. Okay. Ah, fuck it. I'll come back for it later. What should I upgrade, though, huh? As much as I love the shotgun, it kind of, like, again, runs through ammo really quickly. So, I'm not really sure that that's what I want to do. And that its ultimate upgrade isn't really that cool. I mean, it's okay, but it's not, like, the best. Uh. All right. Beefed up my arsenal a little bit. Is this the exit portal that we're looking for? Oh no, that's the portal. Down below, and we are going to go in there. Nice. Nice! God damn! That's a long mission! That took almost an hour and a half! God! But I mean, it's fun! I I'm really digging this game. I just. I wish uh, ammo was a little more plentiful, but I'm sure that'll change 
uh, as time goes on. So, I guess that's it. Damn, um, we kind of rip and tore through our way through a few different areas, and um, that's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got. So, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying Doom so far. Uh, if you are or you aren't, let me know down in the comments below, and of course, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and please consider subscribing to this channel and following Bold Brew Gaming on all of our social media, that is Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you all so much, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.